Thank you. Today's storms were setting off tornado warnings all around us. While people in West Louisville were still picking up from last week's 4th of July tornado there. WHS 11 night teams Alex Dieter and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie were out on Woodland Avenue seeing what progress has been made and what still needs to be done. Pulling trees out of backyards less than a week after an EF1 tornado touched down in the Parkland neighborhood. It's probably one of the scariest things I've ever witnessed in my life. Well, more tornado warnings cover Kentuckiana. All this is down already. We're not even done cleaning it up from last week. That's the last thing we need is another tornado. The Petty family is still cleaning up on Olive Street. While progress is being made, lg &E came through and they started working immediately. They worked around the clock for days. Other restorations for the family are still being worked on. We still don't have Wi-Fi or cable. And when you got kids, that's hard. Walking through the Petty's backyard, it's hard to see the walkway. What was once shaded from all the tree canopy is now covered in leaves and branches. With the potential threat of more severe weather, the Petty's are worried that what happened last week might happen again. What makes me more scared is that the trees that didn't fall is the bigger trees. Yeah. That if they do fall, they're going to end up falling on house. Cleanup continues on Woodland Avenue following last week's 4th of July storms. You can see right behind me that a tree that was uprooted is being taken away way days later. It's heavy work. Owner of tree doctor Matt Scholten has been removing down trees from storms for 40 years. Yeah, we've seen some storms. This 100 plus year old oak tree was completely uprooted by last week's storms. If you uh, cut a tree back, take the weight off of it. You know, if it doesn't get top heavy, it's not going to uproot as easy. But uh, a lot of times there's not much you can do. While trees are chopped up and removed and the petties continue to pick up the pieces of their home. I put that trampoline up myself and I spiked it to the ground so it made it through a tornado. <laughs> They're grateful for what's still standing. In the Parkland neighborhood with photojournalist Elijah McKenzie, Alex Dieterer, the WHS 11 night team on your side.